Hello people, welcome back. This gate 2007 question is for two marks. Have a look. They are saying an error correcting code has the following code words. What is the maximum number of bit errors that can be corrected? So the question is, can we correct one bit, two bit, three bit or four bit? How many maximum errors can be corrected? See, if you are allowing only these five code words, this means sender can send only these five kind of messages. Suppose sender has sent one of these messages and there was some error in this way. Receiver received something which is not any one of these five. Suppose receiver received 00001000. Okay, receiver will see whatever message I got is not a valid code word. Okay, that means there is some error. We need to find out how many maximum errors can be corrected. For this, you actually need to know the minimum hemming distance. Formula is minimum hemming distance minus one by two floor value. Okay. A maximum of these many bits, if they have an error, we can correct it. Okay. Let us find what is this value. For this, we need to know the minimum hemming distance between any two pairs. So see, in these two, the hemming distance is four. How? Because by changing only these four bits, you can reach from here to here. Okay. In these two, there is hemming distance of eight because you need to change each and every bit. One will be changed to zero. This one will also be changed. So on each and every bit need to be toggled to reach from here to here. So hemming distance is eight. Analyze the next pair. You can see hemming distance is four. Because one, two, three, four. These four bits need, uh, need to be toggled for, for going from here to here. Similarly, you can see there will be only four bits if you want to go from here to here. Parallelly, you have to analyze each and every pair for knowing the minimum hemming distance. Okay. Till now, minimum hemming distance is 4. Similarly, you can see the hemming distance between these. It is going to be 8 because every bit is flipped. Okay. Between these two, the hemming distance will be 4. Okay. Do we have hemming distance less than 4? No, I don't think so. Actually, you need to analyze each and every pair, but it's visible that hemming distance will not be less than 4. So here you will be having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 C2. You will have these many pairs. That means 5 into 2 which is equal to 10. You need to analyze all of those 10 pairs for determining the minimum hemming distance. I am telling you it will be 4 only. So 4 minus 1 by 2 floor value. That is 3 by 2. That means 1.5 floor value which is equal to 1. So you can correct only 1 bit errors. If in some message 2 bits got flipped, you cannot correct those errors. You can only detect such errors. See, this is not very intuitive way. Let me explain in some intuitive uh, way. Suppose the receiver received this message. Suppose you are the receiver, I am the sender. I sent some message and you got this. First thing that you will do, you will see, is it a valid code word? No, it's not. Okay, it's not one of these five. You can simply guess there is some error. So error detection have been done. Now we need to correct it. Can you correct the error? If you know for sure only one bit error is allowed. You can very easily correct it. See. By making one bit error in this valid code word, can you reach here? No, it's not possible because one, two, three, four, five. There are five ones. You need to flip these five bits. There has to be a five bit error in this code word to reach here. Okay. Suppose I send this 
there has to be a five bit error for uh, you receiving that one. Okay, so this one is not possible if we are talking about one bit errors only. Is this possible? No. Is this possible? Yes. Because these four bits are same. Okay, these four bits are same and last three bits are same. There is only one bit error. So you can very easily correct one bit error. You select any one of these four, sorry, these five and you flip one bit. Very easily it can be guessed what was the original message. Okay, just by uh, making one bit difference. Now suppose two bit difference is allowed. Okay, two bit error is allowed. Let's see, can we correct it or not? The formula says we can't correct it. Let us find such example and let us try to know the reason why can't we correct it. According to formula, only one bit errors can be corrected. Have a look. Suppose the message that I want to send is this one only, all zeros. So I want to send all zeros. And what you received is four zeros followed by two ones. Yeah. Suppose you got this message. I wanted to send this message. You got this message. I am telling you maximum of two bit error is allowed. Can you actually guess that what I sent was this one the original message? Can you guess it? No, you can't because there are two possibilities. First thing is I could have sent all zeros. Okay. And both of these bits flipped and became one. Okay. So this is the possible original message. Also, I could have sent four zeros followed by four ones. This one could also have been the original message. You are not sure was this one the original message or was this one the original message. That is the reason two bit errors cannot be corrected. They can only be detected. So you can detect that there is error, but you cannot correct it. How many bits errors can be detected? We can correct only one bit error. How many errors can be detected? You can detect MHD minus one errors. That is uh, maximum, sorry, minimum Hamming distance is four and uh, four minus one is three. That means up to three bits errors can be detected and up to one bit errors can be corrected. Okay, so answer to this question is one. Okay.